Hello friends, in this video we will understand how natting works using Cisco Packet Tracer. We have already understood the basics of natting what, which is network address translation which you can watch in my uh, conceptual video about this but today we will do the demo of it. But just to quickly brush up, uh, let's see what exactly natting does, what is nat. Okay. Coming to this whiteboard here, uh, so basically what is natting, so natting is for example, uh, so I'm just drawing it out for you. So for the example, you have your pi private network here, okay? And you have your devices. And then you will have your uh, gateway, for example, router gateway, okay? So you will have a list of your IP addresses, but what you will do, you will connect to this particular router and then for all your uh, private IPs, only one particular public IP will be shared to the outside world. Okay, so this is your public uh, network here. Okay, so for example, if you are, for example, doing 192.168. whatever number, all that will be get consolidated into, you know, into one particular address and that address will get exposed here. So it will protect your privacy and also it will help you utilize your private IPs while keeping a single public IP address uh, for, for the public one. Because that was the only way we could have saved our IPv4 addresses before IPv6, okay? So this is a basic concept of netting. I will not spend much time because we have cover, covered it in depth previous tutorial. But this is a basic concept of netting which converts private multiple private IP addresses into a public IP. So now let's go to uh, the Cisco packet tracer, okay? Uh, let's go there and see that uh, how it works, okay? So basically, uh, this is not a demo for Cisco Packet Tracer. If you guys want it, we can do it. Uh, but uh, yeah, for now, let's see how it works on Cisco in Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so before I show you the demo, let me quickly tell you what I have done. So basically, this is our private network here. Uh, and this is a single PC in the private network with the IP address 192.168.1.2 and then it is connecting to a switch and then to a router and this is our public network where we have a server which the IP address of the server is 10.0.0.2 now what we have done is uh, just to sh quickly show you how it's done uh, this is not a demo for uh, uh, for Cisco packet tracer but I'm just trying to show you how it's how it runs okay uh, how netting works so this is the default gateway here and this is the IP address which we have configured and similarly we have done it here. But the most important thing is we have configured the router with these commands. So I will I will not run with these commands right now but I can show you what, uh, what I have done. So I have configured the terminal uh, and there are multi, it can be a whole different video guys. So uh, we are just running through this for now. So basically we have first configured the private the interface on which the private internet uh, uh, private network will work so this is that particular network okay gig gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and as you can see the gateway what we have done is 192.168.1.1 1 .1. that's what we have mentioned here similarly here on this side of the interface so router gateway so gateway will have an entry and an exit so this is the exit to the public network 0 slash 1 and here our gateway is 10.0.0.1 and this is the uh, subnet mask okay so we have configured both and we, ha we have said that okay this is connected to this gateway this is connected to this gateway then we have created a default route and we have given this particular interface for that route so that any anything which goes outside will go via this in interface for netting we have created an access list so we have created access list we have permitted anything, any IP address in this range 192.168.1.0 and this is the mask we have done. So 0.0.0, .0, .0 is a wild character and .255 means anything in the range of 192.168.1.1 to 254 is allowed, is, will be the part of this whole access list. Then IP NAT inside source list 1, okay, this says that anything which is in this particular range okay will use all the ip addresses will use this particular outside interface 0 slash 1 and overload means that all these private ip address can use a single public ip address 
okay which could be the gateway address which we'll see quickly and then and then uh, it can be run on multiple ports so there could be another pc here which could be 192 1.3 but that also will use a single IP address, but the port on which it will run will be different. So we have configured all this and now we will uh, go to the simulation mode and we will try to do a simple, uh, you know, simple ping from here. And we will put the destination IP address as one uh sorry 10.0.0.2 and 192.168.1.2 okay so this is our this is our source and that is our destination here this is our destination let's see if it works one two three four size i can give 50 five seconds and this is the PDU okay so now we will run the simulation so what we will do to uh, demo this we'll go to the pc okay i have already run the command ip config so basically what you have to do so let me show you so basically if i have to go again and go to desktop and then go to command prompt this is basically the command prompt for this particular windows uh, machine so as you can see the ip address is correct okay and I have already run once uh, the ping here, but I will run it again to demo this. So we will, we are running it in simulation mo mode so that we can see how it's being done. So we are pinging the external server 10.0.0.2. Now, if you have done the netting correctly, the private IP, which is 192.168.1.2 should convert into a public facing IP address and should not, uh, should not go as is. Okay. So let's, let's see. So now we will just do this whole demo and we will, uh, we will play it step by step. Okay. So let me just do it step by step. So it has come to the switch. Then it has gone to the router. Then from the router, it has gone to the server from the server. It has gone back to the router, back to the switch and back to the PC okay and this green tick means the communication is done successfully now the main thing is we have to see where we are where we are right now so this is icmp message okay this is where this is at the switch zero okay so last device was switch zero so still here the ip address was same let me let's just check okay so let's see let's close this so this is at device router zero no we'll go back to the switch first so this is at switch we will not go into this but we'll see inbound packet so the source ip is coming from this particular machine and the destination ip is our uh, final server 10.0.0.2 outbound switch has sent the same thing ahead to the router okay source ip this destination ip this now the magic happens at this particular place where the moment inbound ice uh, inbound ip comes in here 192.168.1.2 and the destination ip is 10.0.0.2 so so far whatever has come from the switch as a pdu has come uh, you know has been as is but now the thing is at the outbound this is where the magic happens of netting see inbound the source IP was still at the private network. Okay. And the destination was this, but router has switched it. Router is saying no boss, just send it like 10.0.0.1 and destination IP is 10.0.0.2. So if you remember, this was our gateway. This was our gateway for our gigabit ethernet zero slash one. 
now the same thing will go the same thing will go to the uh, so we'll we'll uh, we'll just go to this particular server here okay so this has uh, gone to the server now from the server from the server the inbound was so this has come from uh, to the server inbound okay so this is the source ip and this is the destination ip 10.0.0.1 okay we are right now at the server now the server will respond and server at this particular point of time just a second okay so we have to go a step back so this is where the server we are at server 0 so the inbound has come in here 10.0.0 slash 1 dot 1 and the destination is 10.0.0.2 okay so router is sending to the server here now outbound is simply the server is re returning the response to the destination which is now the router here so server is now sending back to the router at this particular destination now we'll go to the next step here here now server has got it uh, sorry the router has got it got the got the packet back so this time the source would be this particular server here so the message the response has come back come to this particular router router has received it on its gateway ip and now see the outbound see the moment it sends it back towards the private network thus you know the destination ip has been changed so router what it has done it has masked all the uh, all the details within itself and sent everything from its gateway and further down when it will further now go it will be simply uh, the same okay so now the ip address is has been uh, has come back to 192.168.1.2 so basically this whole process which we just saw we see that at this particular place we stop all the private ip address and send everything through a public ip so friends this is what netting is all about i hope you like this video this is a new kind of thing i'm trying giving you hands-on experience i might have fumbled here and there but please uh, bear with me i'm learning and i'm trying to make this as user friendly as possible so let me know in the comments what you would uh, want to learn next and I'll, I'll try to make a demo for that as well so until next time keep learning keep sharing and yes keep hustling bye for now